Alright, what is up YouTube? We are back, not in the grow this time, obviously. Uh, today, gonna go over a little bit more of an informative video uh, and money saving as well, even more money saving than my other little tip hack, if you will, for hypochlorous acid. I have a hard time saying that every single time. But, so this video we're gonna go over uh, silicons, uh, silicates, all that good stuff. I think silica is the wrong term, I think it's silicons. Anyhow, we're gonna go over that, what is it, why you need it, what's beneficial, the different types more importantly, the cost between each types, and why there's such a big cost in between each types. So uh, if any of that's interesting to you, saving money and learning about silicates and all that good stuff, let's get on into it and stay tuned. So first things first, what does it do? You know, Why do you need it in the first place? It's, it's a, not a nutrient your plant actually needs, right? Uh, the reason why you want it and the reason why you want to use it is it increases uh, plant-like hardiness or plant vigor, right? So your plants are going to be uh, more resistant to biotic and abiotic stress. I think I'm saying that right. So things like you know drought stress, heat stress, uh, I think even sturdiness against wind because it reinforces cells walls because the silicate actually makes the cell walls fast, you know, thicker. It increases plant growth. Uh, I know that when it reinforces uh, the cell walls as well as increases the plants like defense response to triggers. Uh, so things like pathogens, uh, mold, all that stuff, right? It can eliminate the need or like drop the need for a pesticides treatment by like 50% when they did a study. Uh, I know that Bruce Bugbay, he also did a study uh, using it as well. And they basically almost were able to eliminate uh, powdery mildew, you know, in their facility by the use of it. So it helps out quite a lot in just making your plant more resistant and hardy in general against different types of stresses, as well as against like pests, pathogens, diseases, all that good stuff, right? Or I guess all that bad stuff. So it does all that, makes it hardier, which is always a good thing for your plant. Um, you know, you to stress it out less, it's gonna grow better, right? If you can avoid issues from disease and pathogens, that's obviously good as well. So even though it's not a nutrient needs, it does a lot of benefit, you know, a lot of beneficial things. It does other things such as increase uh, nutrient uptake of certain immobile nutrients. Uh, calcium specific that I know of, but it may be others, which if you're a cocoa grower, I know that everyone douses in a bunch of cow mag to try to, you know, get enough for the plants to use. So it actually helps by what it does is the calcium binds to the uh, silicon. So that way it can be uptake, you know, easier, uptook into the plant more easily, right? And then even though it's bound, it easily becomes unbound which is why it's you know beneficial for the uptake of immobile nutrient, calcium in particular, there may be other ones, but I can only remember calcium off the top of my head. So the different types of silicates matter drastically, right? Or silicons matter drastically. So the one that's gonna be the cheapest, the one that everyone used up until like a few years ago is potassium silicate. You get those in like a one liter bottle and just give you a comparison. This right here is a 50 milliliter, I'm sorry, 500 milliliter, so half a liter, right? That's half a liter bottle. So they'd be double this size for about 20, 25 bucks usually. I know like Sea Armor or Armor C by uh, General Hydroponics, I believe, uh, was one that I used for a long time. <clears throat> so they're very inexpensive. They're everywhere. Uh, whoever you get them from, pretty much the same thing. Price doesn't vary very much on those. They're always very cheap. Now, the reason why they are cheap compared to something that is a like a silicic acid whether it be a monosilicic acid or orthosilicic acid something for example like power si is a uh, silicic acid or vitalize is a silicic acid now twice this size for a potassium silicate was about 20 25 dollars i said right so here's half the size 500 milliliters this right here the power si original which is stronger than the bloom so it costs more is about 110 bucks i think i got this and the bloom together, both 500 milliliters for about 140, 150 bucks with tax, something like that. So not cheap. Uh, this is the majority of the price. I think the other one you can get for, I can't remember to be honest. Uh, solo, it's like 80 bucks and solo this is like 110. Obviously if you get them together, it's a little bit cheaper. Um, <clears throat> so still very pricey. Now this right here, vitalized by mills, cause you guys know I do side by sides with these. This is 250 milliliters, so half of this. This right here was $95, and I know that price exactly, because I wrote it on the back, because I knew I was gonna forget. 
but I did forget to write it on the back of this, so I'm, get, I'm getting there, you know what I mean? Sticky notes, my man. Anyhow, this is uh, $95 for this. I got I got these both on Amazon. I can, you know. And so this, I couldn't find them any cheaper. They're more expensive in the, in the hydroponic shop, just for the record, so I did look for a cheaper. Anyhow, this is 95 for half as much because it is stronger concentration. I tried to find the exact concentration on this, but I could not online, which is really weird, and made me feel a little bit sketched. But I remember I did it once, I just couldn't find it again. But that's the, besides the point. So these are used in much, you know, since they are more concentrated, and this is a much smaller bottle than the potassium silicate. Potassium silicate, I wanna say I use it about two to five milliliters per gallon. Um, this right here is one to two milliliters per gallon. And this is 0.5 to 0.25 milliliters per gallon. So as you can see, the more expensive it gets, the uh, cheaper it gets as well. Now, aside from the price point, because these are just really concentrated, but even if you take that into consideration, these are still more expensive than a potassium silicate. Now, the reason for that being is because a silicic acid, a monosilicic or orthosilicic acid, is a single molecule, which makes it very bioavailable, and then they do it in a very stable form, which is why it costs so much, all the work they had to do to get it like that. Whereas a potassium silicate is not a single molecule, it's a chain of molecules, uh, and it is not bioavailable. Um, if you're in soil, it might be useful because it's going to have to sit and be broken down by the bacteria over the course of weeks, even months. So maybe in soil because it's not going anywhere. You don't really flush soil. But if you have any kind of hydro, you know, like hydroponic or soilless medium, hydro cocoa, I flush it pretty regularly. You know, 10% runoff every time. I can't imagine that sticking in there. The whole point of having the runoff is to get it out. If you're in a hydroponic center, you usually change your reservoir about once a week or so, if not more. So it doesn't really, you know, that ain't weeks or months, right? Far cry. So it's going to be kind of, it might not be 100% useless. You might get some benefit, but for the majority of the point, it's going to be useless. Uh, you might want to use something like this, something like this, some other brand, whatever you like. Of course, go with it. And that's why it's more expensive because it is actually bioavailable. So <clears throat> in addition to that, these being very expensive, as you know, my hack to save some money, kind of like is to go with a, yeah, I'll pick it up. Ah, this, oh my God, this is 50 pound. This, there you go, I'm gonna put it down, it's really heavy. So that's 50.3 pounds, right? Whew, man, that was a lot heavier than I thought trying to pick it up and sit in a chair. Anyways, so that right there is, the brand name is Vansil 10, to be exact. The 10 is by how fine the powder is, they have Vansil 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 10 is the one that Bruce, Buddy, Bruce Bugby did a study on, and that's why I'm using it, and I'll get more into that here in just a moment. Uh, it's What it is is Wallastonite. They have Wallastonite mines, apparently. They mine the stuff, turn it into a powder, put it into a bag, sell it, right? So uh, this stuff right here, for this whole 50.3 pound bag, was $59 and some change, $59.86, right? So 60 bucks with tax is what I got it for, and I got it not at an agricultural store or a nursery or a hydro. It was actually at a ceramic store, which I found out is basically just means pottery store. Uh, so, cause when I was looking online trying to find it, I was finding it for 25, 40 bucks, and I'm like, oh, this is really cheap, I'm gonna order it. But it had like an $80 shipping because the bag's heavy as all shit, right? So I'm like, yeah, let, let me see if I can find it locally and I can try to save that. I did find it locally, it was like 45, 50 bucks, something like that, plus tax, came to the 60 obviously. And I only found it at a ceramic store. And the reason why I started looking at ceramic stores is because when I was looking online, all the places selling it were pottery places. So I called a couple nurseries, nobody had it. And I'm like, let me try calling the pottery places like I saw it online, call some, nobody had it. They recommended a supplier nearby in my city. I called a ceramic supplier. They sell like the ingredients, not just the actual bowls or whatever. And they sold the stuff. And I asked, why do you guys sell this stuff? And they said, oh, we put it as a glaze on the outside of the ceramics. And I was like, oh, fun fact. And uh, asked me what I used it for. Said I was gonna be using it for uh, putting it in soil. So uh, that's what I got it for. Now the way you use this is only one gram per liter of medium. So those big old bags that you get, like the biggest bags of soil or cocoa or whatever, those are what, 50 liters? So you're using 50 grams. And I know y'all out there know how to use grams to pounds. So you know if that's 50 pounds, that's a lot of grams, right? So, uh, you're looking at, is that 500 grams per pound? I can't remember off the top of my head, but I know you all know it, man. Get your scales out. But 
you're gonna use that at one gram per liter, or at least they did in their study. I'll actually put a video, the video link in the description with a timestamp so you don't have to watch the whole thing when it goes over just silicate uh, in general. It's super interesting. They put it in at that, and from they and they showed like a table of when it when it was like bioavailable to the plant because they actually did soil tests, right? And from like day seven or ten up until like day 180 or something, 190, long time. So your whole entire run, right? It was bioavailable the entire time, long time. So that's it. You mix it the once, you're good to go. And 50 grams is, you know, if you do 50 liters, that's like this little tiny, you know what I mean? A powder. You just get this little handful, right? You're gonna have a handful. So every bag is just one handful, one handful, one handful. I mean, if you're only doing a, you know, a handful for a big old 50 liter bag, this bag right here gonna last me what I do now. Runs every three to four months. In uh, seven gallon pots, I'm looking at like a year and a half for 60 bucks. That's it. A far cry from this, which I go through one of these every run. And I have two to two lights up. I had to get more of this and use this. Oh man, I just put my elbow on, on, the, on the lamp. But uh, so these, I'm using you know, a couple hundred dollars every three to four months, opposed to 60 bucks for a year and a half. If not more, you know, depending on whatever your situation is. Maybe if you got a super big facility, going to be less. But this is going to be specific to container style growing, so it's not for everyone. Because if you got like a DWC or something, I can't imagine you putting powder in there and it being very efficacious. Maybe if you have like a flooded, I don't know. Maybe it depends on how well it dissolves. I haven't used it yet. I guess you'd have to put it in the water and mix it up, see how well it dissolves. If so, maybe but would it gunk it up? Would it not? I don't know. Something like this might be better suited for your application or just a foliar spray actually because this kind of gunks up when it gets a little too warm unless you have a you know, water chiller, then it might be fine because running this in veg and I put my tank in my bedroom, this actually gets the tank a little gunky. But in the cold, it seems to be doing quick, you know, doing just fine. Also, fun fact, if you guys are going to be using this, don't add this to anything with a pH over 8 because then it like, can drop out of suspension. So uh, you know, keep that in mind. But other things with this uh, Vansil 10 or Wilastonite is the ingredient is when I, on the back of this bag, it does say handle with care, don't inhale, and it shows a little mask. So if you guys got any old pandemic masks, you might want to put it on while handling it. I'm not sure exactly how dangerous that is. She didn't say anything at the store, but it has a warning on it. I mean, this doesn't have a warning say not to drink it, neither do your nutrient bottles, but I'm pretty sure if you do, you're gonna be extremely sick and go to the hospital, so don't do it, just like bleach, right? So on the safe side, don't inhale it. Put a towel or something over your mouth, I guess. And I guess because it's so fine a powder, gets into your lungs, bad things happen. So, uh, you know, food for thought, just as a safety precaution, a little warning out there. I don't know that much about it. Feel free to look into it. Either way, it's a huge money-saving thing. And if all I gotta do is put on a mask that I got a whole bunch of sitting around that I don't use no more, I'm okay with that for the, what, one hour I do for mixing my stuff up and I'm good for the next four months. So that's it. Just wanted to show you guys that tip. It's a huge money saver for me. I'm gonna be saving literally hundreds of dollars every three months. I go through a lot. And if I add one more light like I want to, even more, right? So it's gonna save you guys a lot of money. And there's a little bit of information on the different kinds of silicates, why they cost differently, and you know what may be good for your particular application. Uh, other than that, I think I'm gonna end it here. By the way, this is George the Gorilla Glue Plant. Say hi, but until next time, peace out YouTube. And as always, guys, happy girl. For the rest of my life, see, I'm in love with Mary Jane. I'm gonna make her wife, yeah, yeah.